What's going on, guys? I'm Ezel, and this is my wife, Yelsa. And welcome to our reaction channel, The Ezels React. Now, I'm good. I'm gonna get straight into today's video. It is Rest in Peace, Uncle Phil. Okay, this is Will Smith's YouTube yeah. channel, and uh, he just released this seven hours ago. Um, yeah. We did see the reunion special on we HBO, did. but I think this is something else. This is going more in depth with the uncle Phil and his passing so i'm curious to find out what they say about this so let's go ahead not even gonna waste your time let's get jump straight to it what would your relationship with james there be like off camera on the set mm. and deep thought he was a massive rock of a man physically spiritually and emotionally. How do you say one thing, right? How do you say the one thing you learned from James? James Avery was the glue. The glue that held us together. Mm. And in his own eccentric way. James was a big teddy bear. For me, mm. he was a teacher. What I treasure from James Avery is his love of jazz and his love of the black culture. Mm. He was very invested in making sure that the young people knew what had come before them. James Avery had such a big impact on me because I think he was one of the guys that <laughs> would realize that this wasn't what Yo, shout out to the artist. Yeah. That's dope. That's funny and it's dope. You know, you get the reference if you watch Fresh Prince Bel Air. I was trying to do, but he would make me feel comfortable. James Avery was was my sounding board for all of my, my career decisions. He was Uncle Phil, father, protector, teacher, defender, preacher to everybody. Mm. Everybody on the set was his kids. He <laughs> held that position proudly. James Avery took being my father very seriously. He called me daughter, you know, and he always, way after the show, he, that's, he didn't call me Karen, he called me daughter. James is the heart of the show. He is the one that brings it all together. He is the base of that show. I have mm. very special memories of James, very special memories of, 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 of shows that we did together especially some of the the intimate moments oh, wow. that we we had together as parents Uncle i really love that picture yo did you know what these drawings remind me of what reading rainbow oh, lavar because, burton yeah reading rainbow yo like that was the show i used to watch growing up reading rainbow loved it this art style is very uh Retro. Phil, James Avery was the one who everybody looked to for the stability, the integrity, the guidance. We knew that he knew the answers or could guide folks to the answers. He was the one that was really oh, he was pushing me that was the most to touchiest episode. Uh, elevate my craft as an actor. And he used to say all the time, how much money do you need? How much money? How much money? You need more money? You need more money. Hone your craft. You're going to find yourself in your craft. The things that have meant a lot to people over the years, um, interpersonal um, connections between the characters or um, even when we dealt with social issues and, and cultural issues, like James was the historian on set and he would guide it and he really didn't play. One of my mm -hmm. fondest memories and what I looked forward to every Friday shooting night was meeting him at his dressing room door with the music blasting down the hall and he and I grabbing each other and dancing mm -hmm. down the hall till we got to the stage. Mm -hmm. We danced and danced and danced and I, I just adored it. You know, um, and this kind of relates to YouTube a little bit or just any, if you're doing social media and you have a team, you become family with that team. Those people that are helping you, um, get to the same goal in mind. Um, 
But I guess I'm kind of speaking from my own experience doing YouTube and having other people that do YouTube and you pull from each other's resources. It's a little bit different, but my, my main point, not to ramble, is that when you're with, peop with people for that long, they do become family. They do become your family. And so everything they're talking about uh, with James Avery, um, I can understand because, I mean, God forbid if something happened to one of my teammates that I used to, you know, used to, when we used to have a team, um, you know, it, 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 that's like a, a brother or a sister to me, you know? So, uh, yeah, just want to interject there. Uncle Phil. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that episode. <laughs> Look I do. through all of television and the history of television, um, probably, in my opinion, the number one dad in all of television history. Mm. Okay, I think I think that's it. Yes. Oh wait. Well, I actually, yeah, really like it. that. Um, okay, yeah, that's it. Cool. So um, I tried to interject a little bit here and there, uh, but I wanted to talk a little bit more at the end. Um, how did you feel about it? Um, I really liked it over, well, I didn't like it. I mean, I did like it, but it was just kind of... Sad. It was, yeah, it was emotional. Yeah, it was emotional. You know, usually for these videos, I'm like, I liked it, yay or nay, but it's like, well, because I watched that show growing up. Yeah. And I saw that, you know, you, you know how it is as the audience, you connect with these characters in these shows, you become invested in them. And, yeah. So, um, yeah, I really loved Uncle Phil's character. And when he died, that was really sad. And just hearing their stories um, in this video about him and how he was as a person just really, I don't know, I just really, I don't know, it just gives, it, it, oh, I just don't have the words for it, guys. <laughs> I don't I have the words you. for it. I got you. So in the African-American community specifically, Whenever we see a father figure on television, and uh, it 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 means a lot when he's put in a positive light, um, because stereotypically, well, statistically, um, you know, divorce and all these things, not seeing that family unit where the man is there, present in the household, in a loving relationship with his wife, it's hard to find that uh, consistently. Um, and so when you find, when you see it on TV, even though it's fairy tale, it's a kind of like a good role model. Like you want to have yes. that, even though it's fictitious. So to find out, and, and really to be honest with you, I don't hold the actual actor to those standards of the person that is, um, I'm glad that James Avery actually seemed to be very similar to the character that he was portraying on the television show Fresh Prince. That is what I'm saying. I did not hold him, you know, to those standards on a personal level. If he was not that person, it didn't matter to me. But finding out that he actually was, seems to be that, you know, like his character, that's, that's great, that's a big deal. And um, we need more figures like that in the media, um, in the mass media, um, mainstream, excuse me, to, uh, to uh, show our youth that, you know, this is what a healthy relationship, this is what a good marriage looks like. It's fictional, it's not real, but um, at least it, give, it, it puts the idea out there that, um, you know, this is still something that's valuable yes. in our community. And, I agree. Uh, you know, I got a little tongue-tied, little brain fart there, but um, yeah, that was that's what I thought about it. So, um, guys, if you like this video, make sure you give it a like. Make sure you also leave us a comment down below. Let us know what did you think about it. Did you like the video? Did it make you teary-eyed? Did you get emotional? You know, um, and uh, we will see you on the next video. All right, peace.